So it's time to finalize my assignment. And I finished my score. I've made sure that it's between two and three minutes long by going into the play video time code duration at end of score and checked that it was a good length. Checked it for wrong notes. I'm going to export it in one of three ways. Option one, which is very quick but doesn't allow much refinement in the Mixcraft project, would be to press M for mixer, crank the master volume up to max, mute the voice part completely because that's the part that you're going to sing, and then do file export to audio. You can choose MP3 or WAV. You'll notice WAV file is about five times bigger. That's because it's a higher quality file. So that might be something you could consider. And you just press export. That took about eight seconds. I forgot to mention that you want to have the Sibelius 7 sounds on in the play configuration drop down. So I'm ready to start showing you the other recording options. If you type the word export into the search bar, you'll see a number of options. The ones I'm interested in is this one, export each instrument's MIDI. You probably won't use this for this assignment unless you've decided to do it in a pop style, because this one I find I use when I'm wanting to make more popular style music, because the Mixcraft MIDI sounds are, are better than the Sibelius sounds for some instruments, some sorts of drum kit instruments and guitars. The one I usually use is this next one, export each staff as audio. So for this assignment here, that would be seven individual audio files. And I, I like to use that one because it gives me more control over the final project. So that's the one I recommend if you have time or if your assignment's not too enormous. And the final one that's quite useful is export selection as audio. So I might show you that one first. Select the violin line by triple clicking. Hold down shift and select all of the strings. That will, that will export violin one, viola, cello and double bass as one selection. And you'll want to give it a, a sensible name and you'll want to put it in a sensible place. So I have done this earlier and I've made a f folder called audio selections and in there I've I named the file task to demo all strings and you'll notice that I'm changing what columns show quite often I find when you've got a folder that only has audio files in it it gives you options as if it's from an album that you've ripped or something like that which is a bit strange when what you really want is the status and the type for most things. Okay, so that was easy, wasn't it? Um, it takes a couple of minutes, but not too long. Yeah? The next possibility would be export each stuff as audio. And if you do that, it gives you an individual WAV file for each. So I've previously named it task to demo, and I've previously created a folder. And you'll see here, it's my individual audio files folder, and it contains one example of each staff. So there's seven individual files that match up with the seven staves of the original score. So that's an easy one. And the other one is the same, export each instrument as MIDI. That will also give you seven files. Here's the one I made earlier. I made a folder called MIDI. And inside there, I named them task to demo. And then this next bit, the program does automatically. So I've got all my materials that I need now for my project. If you have really hardly any time and you're really rushing and you're nearly at the due date, I suggest you use option one, export the entire file as audio. But if you've got a bit more time and you want to take a bit more care, I suggest exporting each staff as audio. That will give you more control over the final project.